Tia Fergan is allegedly pregnant. We're talking about the young lady who took to social media some months back to share indecent pictures of herself and she was later arrested, taken to Kondengi prison in Yawunde and months after she was released and she was under training to be a better lady in the society. But this time around report has that she's allegedly pregnant. As to circulating on social media through a press release by Zizo237 who took responsibility to change Cynthia Fergan has decided to put an end to their working relationship. This comes after the lady who was sharing these indecent pictures of herself on social media was arrested and taken to Kondagi prison. And of course, recently she shared a video of herself with a baby bomb as evidence of being pregnant. This is apparently a confirmation of General Vasiro's prophecy on January 4, 2023. In his words, I can't tell you with assurance that Cynthia has not changed at all. The person you have been manipulating, the person who has been uh, manipulating, sorry, the person who has been manipulating her is the young Ziz Zizo. He thinks he has discovered a technique to fabricate an internet celebrity. This Cynthia would have peacefully gone back to school, not come back to social media. Cynthia has not changed. The next person you will have all the worst problems will be Cynthia. The first thing you would do is to mark Cynthia, he stated. He further added, if care is not taken, you also impregnate her. I can't pinpoint where you will have problems, but there will be problems. The idea of wanting to use her for social... The idea to use her to shine will come back to your truth. The big questions many are asking is who got Cynthia pregnant. Other holds the opinion that she is just acting to be pregnant. She is not actually pregnant. As of now, she hasn't said anything, but we are investigating. I'll be digging deep into this story to make sure that we'll bring you latest development to this issue. If actually Cynthia is pregnant or she is just acting like many are also chanting on social media. We also not hesitate to deep dig to know why Zazu 237 has cut ties with Cynthia as of now. And still in Cameroon, we talk the demise of Dr. Fadima Tuaijo, the daughter of Cameroon's former president, who is no more. Noting that Aijo's family is mourning Dr. Babat Fadima Tuaijo, the first daughter of the late president of the Republic of Cameroon, Amadou Aijo, who died on Tuesday, February 21st. 2023 in Dhaka, Senegal, following a heart attack. The death of Babat Fadima Haijo comes barely a year after the death of her mother, Germaine Haijo, the night of 19th to 20th April 2021, who was also an important figure in the political history of Cameroon. It should be noticed that this double loss is a blow to the Haijo's family, which has been forced to live in exile for many years. She had been living in exile with her parents 40 years and the Haijo's family settled in Dakar. That's Dr. Babat Fadima to Haijo had lived in Senegal for many years and had pursued a medical career as a dermatologist back in Senegal. But as of today, she is no more. We say may her soul rest in peace and may God comfort the family of Haijo during this period. And on that note, we take you on our African page for today. Let's find out what is trending and what is making news all over the world.